A GPS error recently caused a woman to drive almost a thousand miles out of her way. Well, let's be honest. When a two-hour road trip turns into a two-day trip, it's not only the GPS's fault. There's a healthy dose of human error going on as well. But before GPS navigation, we needed maps and compasses or directions to get from point A to point B. Now we carry around the most advanced navigation system ever devised right in our pockets. GPS stands for Global Positioning System and it refers to a network of 30 satellites that are constantly orbiting the Earth. Your smartphone or navigation device communicates with these satellites to track your location and the location of other devices. How exactly does it work? The science and history of the global positioning system is fascinating. Here's the short version. At any given moment, no matter where you're located on the planet, you have direct line of sight to no fewer than four GPS satellites at a time. That's because GPS calculates your location in all three dimensions by timing how long it takes a signal to reach your device. This signal is a high-frequency radio beam traveling at the speed of light, so the amounts are minuscule, but it enables the global positioning system to pinpoint your location to within a few meters. This accuracy is all thanks to Albert Einstein. According to his theories of relativity, we know that time actually moves differently the further you are from Earth and the faster you're moving. That means astronauts returning from the International Space Station are actually younger than the people born on Earth at the same exact time. This phenomenon is called time dilation. It's only a fraction of a second per day for satellites orbiting Earth, but that difference is enough to cause the GPS's accuracy to drift by almost seven miles every day. That's why the atomic clocks aboard every GPS satellite tick faster by 38 microseconds per day. But if the system is so precise, why is your GPS sometimes off? Things like buildings, trees, and even the atmosphere can interfere with that signal. And this affects the accuracy of your GPS device, which is why your readings may sometimes be wrong. The GPS was developed by the Department of Defense, and it became fully operational in 1994. It was originally called Navstar, and it was designed to help the military guide planes, missiles, ships, and troops. Nowadays, it's still operated by Air Force Space Command, but it's been freely available for civilian use since May of 2000. There are millions of GPS devices in use today for a wide variety of purposes, from business to recreation. You can find great GPS apps for your smartphone over at my website, commando.com. And until next time, I'm your digital goddess, Kim Commando.